keeping team members happy, motivated and performing is great for you and great for your team. Learn fundamental actions that every manager can take that will make your team a lot happier permanently. Team happiness, motivation and engagement really matter to you and your company. Happy employees are up to 20% more productive and salespeople buy even more up to 37% per Forbes. From my experience, happy people are more likely to be innovative, contribute more to the team, build closer, stronger relationships with colleagues, be more interested in learning and generally improve the atmosphere everyone works in. All these factors help increase team performance, which is good for the company and great for the manager's career. Even better, the most important ways of keeping team members happy are nearly entirely within your control. Here are seven different ways to make your staff happy that every manager can easily implement. Firstly, communicate openly, honestly and frequently. Second, listen to and implement team members' ideas, suggestions and solutions. Third, treat your employees how you want to be treated. Fourth, focus your time on removing their problems. Fifth, develop team members' skills and careers. Sixth, use praise three times more than corrective feedback at least. Seventh, publicly value employee contributions, skills and results. Keeping team members happy by taking all of these actions day in day out will make your life as a manager a lot easier. You'll have less problems and headaches to deal with and you'll have an exciting management career ahead of you. My name is Jess Coles and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to build higher performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below as well as the video timestamps so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So firstly, communicate openly, honestly and frequently to keep team members happy. Start by explaining why you see their job as important and by doing their job well, how they're going to be helping the team and the company reach goals. Explain how their job fits into the bigger picture. Providing a sense of purpose and reconfirming their importance to you is a big deal to them. Yet everyone wants to feel that what they are doing is worthwhile. Keep employees engaged by sharing the news of what is happening around the company. Yet what projects are being worked on and why what progress is being made against targets by the other teams in the business. Take the team through the financial performance of the business and the team they're working in. News and information provide context and help employees make better decisions more aligned to supporting the business. Being open and honest is also telling it how it is. You know, don't sugarcoat messages or pull the wool over your team's eyes. You know, be diplomatic and empathetic. Don't cause alarm or talk about disagreements between your bosses and the leadership team, for instance. But do add your views and opinions when this reassures the team and conveys the direction that they need to be working in. Being open and honest is also about being authentic as a person. You know, show the team the real you, or certainly some of the real faces that you wear, and some of the different aspects of your personality and values. Have the courage to do this and you'll build relationships and trust a lot quicker. Communicate often and openly to keep your team happy. Secondly, listen to and implement team ideas, suggestions and solutions to keep employees happy. Team members have a lot of valuable ideas and solutions. You know, in their areas, they usually see problems before you do. Team members often have solutions to these problems before they speak to you. The more you listen, the more they will share their ideas and solutions. Make the time to listen to what they tell you. Take it in and understand it. You know, think how you feel when you share a problem and the other person jumps straight into problem solving. Compare this feeling to when a person continues to listen, wanting to hear the solution you have spent time coming up with. How amazing do you feel when they start asking questions to really understand the depth of your reasoning and the alternatives you have considered? Keeping employees engaged and happy is a lot easier when you really value the ideas, suggestions and solutions they bring. Implementing other people's good ideas and giving them the credit for the idea or solution is a great way to make them feel valued while saving yourself time and effort creating a solution yourself. Listen to your employees to keep them happy at work. Thirdly, treat your employees how you want to be treated. 
you know, how you treat your team members over time is how they will treat each other and you. The leader of the group sets the rules within the group through their actions, decisions and behaviours. So literally treat them how you want to be treated. You know, smile and be friendly. You know, ask them about their weekend. Get them talking about their interests and hobbies. Be empathetic and supportive when they struggle. Show some of your vulnerabilities. Admit when you're wrong or have made a mistake. Live by the same rules that you expect your team members to follow. Use the power of your position to help the team, not yourself. What you allow and don't allow through your actions is what the team follows, rather than what you say. Always pay attention to the non-verbal messages that you are sending. Fourth, focus your time on removing their problems to keep employees happy at work. Problems and issues make your team members' lives harder. Your problems will slow them down, cause frustration, anger and a ton of negative emotions. In any team, all sorts of problems arise. You know, for example, there's conflicting goals, there's poor processes, there's people problems, there's a redundant reporting, there's a lack of resources, there's a lack of direction, clarity and information. As a manager, solving any of these problems for your team members helps you directly. You know, yes, it would be great if they solved their own problems. Quite often they simply can't. Managers have more influence, more authority, different skills and are much better placed to solve problems within the teams and they look after and the organisation itself. Or they can solve the problems much quicker. By solving team members' problems, one person's time reduces the time spent by many. A very important leveraging effect. Solving problems for the team is a great way to help the team as a whole become more productive and do better jobs. Better team performance means better career prospects for the manager. Fifth, develop team members' skills and careers to keep them happy. Do you know many people that want to do exactly the same job for years on end? I don't. Most people want progression in their careers, yet you know, they want to learn and improve themselves. The speed of learning and progression desired by team members is what varies a lot. Some are happy to with a slow pace of learning and change and the resulting slower career progress. Others want to learn as fast as possible and progress their careers as far as they can. What makes employees happy at work is how well you, the manager, tailor the development you offer to their ambitions and ability. You know, so make the effort to you know, create development opportunities through the work you delegate, the projects you need to support and the requests you receive from others in the business. Use a portion of your time to teach, mentor and coach team members so they develop their skills and confidence quicker. Also provide challenge and the opportunity to use all the skills the employees have. Also get team members to teach their colleagues what they know. Another thing could be to make use of external learning opportunities. You know, there are tons of videos, books, courses, seminars and experts available. Do everything sensible to develop the skills and confidence of your team. Doing so will make your job as a manager a lot easier and the team's performance will keep increasing. You will also make employees a lot happier. Sixth, use praise three times more than corrective feedback to keep team members happy. Praise is something that most managers don't use enough. Research shows that managers need to praise their staff at least three times more than use corrective feedback to keep team members happy. In high-performing teams, this ratio of praise to corrective feedback is over five times. So make the time to look for good opportunities to praise actions, decisions, solutions, behaviours and results that your team members create or do. Yeah, be specific with your praise rather than general. Tell team members exactly why you are impressed and how they can keep impressing you going forward. Positive reinforcement works so much better than always correcting the problems. Seventh, publicly value employee contribution, skills and results. Great for keeping team members happy. There are so many ways to demonstrate that you value team members and some of these include Firstly, listen to your employees and implement their ideas and solutions. Second, provide autonomy and responsibility alongside good op opportunities for employees to use their skills. And third, recognise employee contributions through prizes, rewards and other forms of public recognition. Fourth, spend more of your time teaching, mentoring and coaching the higher performing employees. 
Fifth, ask the better team members to teach their colleagues or act as buddies to give both parties the opportunity to develop skills quicker. Sixth, use external training programmes as a reward for great work done. And seventh, promote meritocracy through noticeably higher bonuses and pay rises for those that perform. Eight, work to develop internal talent so that you can promote internally rather than going externally where practical. How are you going to publicly demonstrate your appreciation of the team members who are delivering for the team and doing so in the right way? Recognition and reward are both very important to get right, to keep team members happy and performing well. So in summary, keeping team members happy and performing is a critical job of a manager. Happy team members perform up to 20% better than unhappy ones. Happy team members are likely to stay a lot longer with the company than unhappy ones, thus reducing team costs and increasing stability within the team. You as a manager get a ton of benefits from having a happy team. Now, your life at work is a lot easier, more enjoyable and a lot more professionally successful. All of the actions and approaches we have talked about today are within your control to implement. Do your best to put all of these into action as well as you can and you'll be using some of the best ways to make your employees happy. As a reminder, we have been through these ways for keeping staff happy. Firstly, communicate openly, honestly and frequently. Secondly, listen to and implement team member ideas, suggestions and solutions. Third, treat your employees how you want to be treated. Fourth, focus your time on removing their problems. Fifth, develop team member skills and careers. Sixth, use praise three times more than corrective feedback at least. And then seventh, publicly value employee contribution, skills and results. If you have any questions on keeping team members happy, seven actions every manager can easily implement, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.